Hi, I'm Danielle Soriano, Pharmacy Manager at Walgreens. Type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children, teens, and young adults, but can develop at any age. In this type of diabetes, your body stops making insulin. Insulin is needed to help blood sugar enter your cells where it can be used or stored for energy. If you have type 1 diabetes, you will need to take insulin shots or wear an insulin pump every day to manage your blood sugar levels and get the energy your body needs. Taking insulin may feel overwhelming, but know that it's worth the effort. Following your diabetes treatment plan as directed by your healthcare provider can reduce the risk of health complications and help you live a healthier life. Type 2 diabetes is the most common type of diabetes. In this type of diabetes, your body doesn't produce enough insulin or doesn't use the insulin as it should. Depending on the severity of your diabetes, your healthcare provider may suggest changes in your diet, exercise, or weight to see if it can be managed that way. If that is not an option, oral or injectable medications, including insulin, may be needed to manage your blood sugar. Still, diet, exercise, and weight management are important, even when taking medication for diabetes. Because diabetes can affect more than your blood sugar, it's important to see your healthcare provider regularly, visit your dentist every six months, and get annual examinations by your eye doctor, as well as comprehensive foot exams. Although there is no cure for type 2 diabetes, you can take steps to manage your diabetes and stay healthy beyond medications. This includes eating healthy, losing weight, and exercising moderately for 20 to 25 minutes per day. Examples of moderate intensity physical activities include brisk walking, house and lawn work, dancing, swimming, biking, and playing sports. Living with diabetes can sometimes be hard. It's normal to feel worried, tired, or even frustrated with diabetes, like the disease is controlling you, not the other way around. When you feel overwhelmed or stressed by diabetes, several steps can be taken to help you feel better. Give yourself a break and take time to do things you enjoy, like working on a fun project, playing a game with children in your family, or calling a friend. Talk with your healthcare providers about your feelings. Let your doctor, nurse, diabetes educator, or another member of your diabetes healthcare team know how you've been feeling. They can help you problem solve your concerns about diabetes. They may also suggest that you speak with other healthcare providers to get help. Focus on one or two diabetes management goals instead of thinking about everything at once. Join a diabetes support group in person or online so you can share your thoughts and feelings and learn from others' experiences. After you are diagnosed with diabetes, your healthcare provider may tell you to test your blood sugar regularly at home. Self-testing your blood sugar can help you know if your treatment plan is working. This is done with the use of a blood sugar meter or a continuous glucose monitor, CGM. Using a blood sugar meter requires a small sample of blood that is collected using a small pricking device called a lancet. The lancet is used on our finger or other approved body parts to collect the blood sample. The blood is then analyzed by the meter or monitor to determine the amount of sugar in your blood. A CGM uses a sensor inserted under the skin to measure your blood sugar every few minutes. If you use a CGM, you may still need to test daily with a blood sugar meter to make sure your CGM readings are accurate. Work with your diabetes healthcare team to learn how to interpret patterns in your blood sugar to make adjustments in your food, exercise, and medication regimen to help keep your blood sugar in a healthy range.